Welcome back to another video. Today I'm reviewing My Little Monster. Just a reminder to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, that way you can stay up to date with all my latest anime reviews and discussions. My Little Monster is a school slice of life romantic comedy that revolves around characters who all have one thing in common. They're misunderstood by others and this results in a loneliness that resides deep inside. That's one thing that I really enjoyed about this series is that you can't take everyone at face value. There's going to be some aspects of them that you won't understand until you see them when they're alone. There's Mizu, who appears to be a very closed off girl who takes her studies very seriously, which leads her to having very little time for personal relationships or friendships. This is the story about how she becomes close with a wild guy that never goes to school, who always causes trouble for everyone, and about how she meets a few other friends at school as well. We get a front row seat into some of these characters' minds, which makes the supporting cast feel actually pretty well developed because they also take up enough screen time to flesh out their development to some degree. Mizu's love interest Haru is a character I would presume to be mentally disabled only if this wasn't a comedy because he's pretty messed up. He is completely unpredictable. He has no control over his emotions. He has these violent mood swings and everybody thinks that he is this mean bully just to beat up everybody and I can see why they think that because he has this evil gaze that he gives at everyone. He's starts these random fights. Oh, and he also punches Mizu right in the nose a few times. Come on. This is something I think they pushed it a bit too far because Mizu is so small and thin. Then you have big old Haru just wailing on her like that. I don't really find it funny. And then they try and play it off like it's a comedic relief moment. And I'm not just saying that it's not funny when uh, guys hit girls. It's not funny the other way around either. I'm equally against male bashing. This leads me to some of the problems that I had with the series, Haru is unrealistically uncontrollable. Yes, it is really funny at first, but I feel that his static, unchanging character pushes the plot progression back to square one. We learn a bit about these other characters, and we see small changes in their thought patterns, and granted, we do learn a little bit about Haru's past, but he stays the same character, and I feel like the plot rides on his shoulders, so because he stays the same, it feels like the plot is just spinning its wheels going nowhere. In fact, I felt like both of the main characters had very static personalities, more so Haru than Mizu. Mizu's character progresses a bit, but I always had this feeling like when you know this girl that's dating the scum of the earth and you think to yourself, what the hell is wrong with her? Haru, on the other hand, I feel is only fit to be a support character and I don't understand why anyone would like him. And that's the thing about the series, most of the male characters are solely attracted to Mizu, while most of the female characters are solely attracted to Haru. There were a few minor exceptions to this where a few of the side characters were interested in each other, but it was in very small doses. I think this series would benefit from having more of the support characters fall in love with each other. That would make their world more believable and realistic. And Haru, I'm not saying that he should change and become this normal person. I know that couldn't happen, but I just want a bit of character development with him. Yes, we see his past, I know that, but I'm talking about progressive development. Comparing to Mizu, who is externally the same character throughout the entire series, but we see internal changes with her thought process. We see this internal struggle as she's trying to comprehend her feelings and why she likes Haru. She's trying to weigh the options of studying in school versus having a social life. My favorite character of the series was Natsume. When she's not at school, she's at home on her computer. Not because she's an otaku, but because she's lonely. In addition to this, she had a few romantic interests which weren't just Haru, so it made it feel a bit more believable, plus she has a decent amount of screen time to make her worthy of being the main supporting character. I felt that the writing here was actually pretty decent. I enjoyed the series, I cared for a few of the characters, and I had a few laughs too. And what's strange about that is, this is a school slice of life, and usually I don't like those. However, while my experience with My Little Monster was mostly positive, I felt that the story took a bit of a turn downhill in the second half because they tried to take the story much more seriously 
and with the failed character progression of Haru, I felt like it had become stagnant at that point. And as the relationship between Mizu and Haru grows, I felt that it was ultimately unbelievable because we have two characters that repel all human interaction, including each other, especially each other, and they just don't feel right together. The animation was slightly above average. I didn't spot any flaws with it really, but most slice of life anime past the year 2010, they have a lot of similarities. All of the characters' emotions were animated properly, allowing you to feel for them and understand what they're feeling without them having to say anything or think anything. I felt that the animation excelled during its opening scenes. It was really abstract and wonky. I really enjoyed it and I never skipped it once. Speaking of the opening, I also liked the song that it was paired with. It matched the tone of the series well and I also felt that the background music was on par. The Japanese voice acting was great but as of now there is no English dub. My overall score for My Little Monster is a 6 out of 10 which is above average and I do recommend this but I don't think that it stands up to other school romance comedies such as The World God Only Knows, The Wallflower, or Mysterious Girlfriend X. So if you've seen My Little Monster, then let me know your thoughts about it in the comments section below. Be sure to check out some of my other videos such as my top 10 favorite anime series of all time and also my anime review playlist just in case you missed a few. Thanks for watching, thanks for all of your support with the likes and comments, and I'll see you next time.